in the middle of the spotlight. On the grass or? On the grass. Yeah. What have we got here? Go right a little bit. Oh, right. There you go. Yeah. <gasps> Serval! Hey, hey! How exciting is that? Absolutely awesome. Hey guys, how many of you have spotted the serval? Can you see it there? Ah, oh, yes! Actually, it's almost clear if I take the spotlight down a bit. Have a look there. You can see it. The medium-sized spotted cats. Yay! This is so exciting. Absolutely awesome. It's so, so exciting. I love seeing Serval. They are absolutely one of the coolest little cats and very, very rare. So what you're seeing, if you're a new first-time viewer, we only see once every couple of months. It is the, it's basically like a little mini cheetah with a very powerful spring. And this one is beautifully relaxed. Oh, this is so marvelous. How awesome is that? I knew those ears didn't look like a Dacre or a Steenbock. Absolutely epic. This is the most relaxed serval in the world. And this is why night time in winter is just the best time to be out in the bush. You get all sorts of these sightings. In summer we would never have seen it. And she was, she or she, were probably sleeping there the whole day. And it's only because of the reflection of the eye that I was able to spot it. This might be one of the best serval sightings ever, just in terms of how relaxed it is. They are generally quite relaxed at night with the spotlight. Less so during the day. This is so cool. How's that, Chandre? Might not have been a cheetah, but we did find a serval. Hello, gorgeous with your enormous ears. I'm really hoping while we sit with it that it's going to stand up and give you a view of its long slender body. I said it's a medium sized cat. What I mean by that is it is probably shoulder height coming up to just above my knee. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Just getting more comfortable. This is so cool. Mm, apparently James Richard was hoping for a serval sighting today and we have provided one. Absolutely. I was I was hoping for a brown hyena, but I certainly am not gonna turn my nose up over to serval. What I am going to do um, if Chandra stays sort of ooh, on it, oh no, hold on, it's moving. It's spotted something, it's going to pounce. Is it going to pounce? Oh no, it's eating something. I wonder if it's got a kill. Oh, sorry. Try and keep my spotlight steady. It definitely appears to be eating something. I'm just going to reposition the spotlight ever so slightly so that it misses it entirely. That's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to change the angle. Definitely appears to be feeding on it. Whatever it's caught. It could be a bird. It could be a small rodent. They are phenomenal jumpers and incredibly good hunters. Oh, I cannot hold the spotlight up like this indefinitely. It's definitely not going to work. Let's try and find a way of repositioning it. Okay. That tree is just in the way. This is epic. A serval with a kill. This is definitely the way to go. And Aaron, yes, this does, I think, complete my cat collection apart from the caracal. So this isn't actually the first serval we've seen live. We had one on Zoe's Road. We've had a couple of them over time, but probably, as I said, once every couple of months. But Aaron, yes, this, apart from the caracal, 
I have seen every single cat it's possible to see out on drive, I think. I'm trying to think if I've missed one. No, the caracal is the only one I need to add to my collection. They're all members of the felid family, the caracal and the serval. Caracal is like a little bob, it's the South African equivalent of a bobcat. The serval is something entirely different. About twice or three times, mm, twice the height, maybe three times the weight of your average domestic house cat. That's why we call it a medium-sized cat. And since this one is relaxed, I'm going to brave repositioning. I'm trying to work out exactly where it is, Joe. If it hadn't been looking at us, I would never have seen it to start with. But I'm going to try, because I can actually hear it crunching. Okay, it's watching us, but it hasn't moved. It's still there. I'm just, I'm just going to shuffle forward a little bit. I'm trying to think if forward or back is going to work. How's your view there, genre? Or is it non-existence? Okay. So maybe where we were was the best. 